Hello, and welcome to the middle of the program. This is Michael Kelly here, Brainwave Entrainment Developer for the Brain Evolution System, or Brain AV for short. In this installment, we will be discussing the fourth level of the Brain Evolution System, Disc 4, Crystal Rain. In this installment, I will be going over what this level does and what to expect as you start on your fourth month in the series. Disc 4 offers a pleasant break from the initial agitations and distractions from the previous two discs, all wrapped within the rich soundscape of a beautiful rainstorm. There are also some intentionally placed patches of rolling thunder, which are used to highlight specific areas of the entrainment pass found throughout the disc. Additionally, you may notice the return of some water sounds from Disc 1. These are applied as part of a return to some of the more soothing relaxation found in Disc 1, while continuing with the advancement of the series. In Disc 4, our focus is on simulating modes of concentration and achieving clear states of awareness without straying thoughts or irritation. Such states can be beneficial when performing complex tasks that require mental efficiency. Another focus is to help you become refreshed when worn down while maintaining a mental connection to the wealth of useful thoughts just below the average person's consciousness. Like other levels in the brainwave system, the noticeable audio sounds slow down, speed up, and change tones in accordance with this disc's entrainment path and our temporal rhythmic entrainment methods. This allows for an entrainment experience that unifies every aspect of the audio and entrainment mediums as a whole. In fact, disc 4 is the most finely tuned level that you have experienced thus far. It is noteworthy to say that often users find this disc to be their favorite in the series. And rightfully so. Unlike the last two discs, this level is not designed to challenge you in any way. By contrast, we are offering a very different program on this disc, and that is teaching you and your mind mental balance. You can consider this level a reward for graduating through the first three levels, which have been preparing you for this one. So, enjoy! Now, let's look to our trusty entrainment map to see what makes Disc 4 so special. Given your experience looking at these entrainment maps, I think you'll appreciate the differences that this disc offers. But first, a quick recap of all levels leading to this one. In Disc 1, we place all of the entrainment frequencies close together in order to captivate the brain's rhythms and teach you how to relax quickly and efficiently. Learning to relax is a gateway condition to the self-control of the mind and is therefore taught before all other levels. Later, in Disc 2, we challenge your ability to relax using audible distractions and slight delays into relaxing meditation. Interestingly, this disc takes you deeper into slower entrainment frequencies than Disc 1 did. This is done again to strengthen your ability to relax and connect with your subconscious thoughts. Disc 3 took the concept of Disc 2 to a whole new level by taking you even deeper into slow brainwave rates while countering with a plateau of faster brainwave activity. This was done to cue slight euphoria or agitation while presenting potential for an even deeper meditation. Furthermore, this contrast in fast and slow brain waves was designed to hold your attention on your subconscious activity, allowing you to pay attention to your inner workings with greater clarity. Disc 4's entrainment map begins with a new mode of entrainment which presents a departure from the predominantly straight paths that were seen before. You will also notice that the broad spacing between entrainment paths is becoming the norm. As we continue to stretch and limber the brain and mind to operate efficiently in a variety of modes at once. So, let's dig in and look at our primary entrainment tier first. We enter very close to the center point between alpha and theta and take a quick dive in the course of two minutes. This holds at low alpha for another few minutes while our first roll of thunder comes in. This, mind you, is the first of three important sound markers which will be explained more once I get to the major tier. As the thunder rolls, we make another fast dive towards theta where we lock into a theta basin for roughly 15 or so minutes. In the last minutes of the program, we make a sweeping ascent back up towards alpha-theta centering, where we had started out at. 
This is done as usual to return you to a more normalized waking consciousness. To best appreciate the layout of the major tier, I'd like to change the usual order of presentation and show the minor tier first. This will help you to see how the major tier interacts with the minor tier more clearly. Like the prime tier, we enter near the center of alpha and theta frequencies and simply continue that same frequency until the end of the program, where it then makes a broad sweep up in parallel to the prime tier. This strengthens the return to a regular waking consciousness with an additional alertness. Moving to the major tier, we enter at the exact same point as the minor tier, yet begin arcing up opposite the first plateau seen in the prime tier. Once at the top of the arc, we let our first thunder cue initiate. This is done to draw your conscious attention to this point, even though you may not be aware of what is happening in the entrainment layers. From here, we continue that same arc and drop back to our center frequency that is being carried out by the minor tier. As we intersect the minor tier, we invert that same arc and move down to low alpha where we cue our second thunder marker. Again, the arc continues until it meets the minor tier, again inverting and sweeping up towards what will soon be the exit frequency of the minor tier. Here at the top, we cue our final thunder marker and then finish that arc, falling back down to our original centering frequency between alpha and theta. Again, as you can see, this is all about balance. The major tier coils around the center point of alpha and theta as demonstrated by the minor tier. This helps the brain to recognize the balance of frequencies surrounding this pivotal point in brain rhythms. In fact, this alpha slash theta center point has already been used to some degree in previous disks. Only here we make the center point quite obvious to the brain. The deep theta basin presented by the prime tier enforces connection to a slower background thinking which can be used to gain access to useful knowledge and even patience when required. So why do this? Again, to show balance to the brain. Our thunder markers add an additional guide to this balancing act and we specifically point out precise points in the program. As you begin to intuitively understand this balance of frequencies, you are more able to affect change in your own states of mind with more accuracy. Now, some notes on how to best use this disc. First, be mindful of your volume when listening. Some listeners are startled by the reports of thunder in this disc, so keep your volume at a comfortable level so that you aren't too surprised at first. Once you know that the thunder is there, you are less likely to be surprised by the occasional sounds throughout, so you can enjoy the disc with ease. Another matter is that many users find that this disc delivers them into a very enhanced state of awareness towards the last half of the disc. This is due to the rise in entrainment frequencies found at the end of the disc, as we had shown in the entrainment map. That said, you may find listening before bed to be a challenge. My advice is to experiment for a few sessions and see what time of day will work best for you. Keep in mind that what one user experiences may not be the same for you. We are all unique in the brain and mind, so what I have just described may not be the same for you. The important thing to remember is to keep with the program and maintain a journal of your experiences. This will help you to keep track of both the subtle and profound changes that you'll experience throughout the brain evolution system. This concludes this presentation of Disc 4, Crystal Rain. As always, read your user's manual prior to use. If you have any questions, would like to reach me or any of our support staff, visit our online support portal at www.support.brainev.com. We are here to answer your questions and help when needed, so don't be shy. Again, congratulations on beginning the second half of the program. There is more to come. As always, this is Michael Kelly wishing you good health and a sharp mind. Signing out.